This is Chestacho. The journey of domestication that birthed our faithful companion, the dog, is a tale as old as time itself. This transformative process was the genesis of the domestic dog, a unique species that shares its lineage with the ancient and enigmatic wolf. Detailed genetic studies have illuminated the canine's voyage from the wild, tracing its ancestry back to an extinct wolf population that was distinct from the lineage of the contemporary gray wolf. Despite their genetic divergence, the similarity between the domestic dog and the gray wolf is striking, largely due to significant gene flow from dogs into wolves. Indeed, the closest living relative of our familiar domestic dogs is the formidable gray wolf, with some researchers hypothesizing that an extinct late Pleistocene wolf may have been the dog's direct ancestor. Belonging to the wolf-like canid family, the genetic split between the domestic dog's ancestors and modern wolves dates back 30,000 to 40,000 years just before or during the last glacial maxima period spanning 20,000 to 27,000 years ago. It's important to note that this significant divergence signifies the beginning of their separate evolutionary paths, but not the moment of domestication, which is believed to have occurred later. The domestication of animals marked a monumental shift in human history, a transition that commenced with the unique symbiotic relationship established between wolves and hunter-gatherers more than 30,000 years ago. Among among all species, the dog has the unique distinction of being the first and only large carnivore to be domesticated. This exceptional domestication process hinged on variations in the fight or flight response among ancestral wolves. Wolves exhibiting less aggression and aversion coupled with heightened altruism towards humans reaped significant fitness benefits leading to a process of social selection. This intricate dance between humans and dogs is embedded in the archaeological record with the remains of the bond Obercassel dog buried alongside humans approximately 14,200 years ago, providing the first undisputed evidence of a domesticated dog. Though the domestication of dogs predates agriculture, it wasn't until 11,000 years ago in the Holocene era that humans in the Near East began to establish relationships with wild populations of aurochs, boar, sheep, and goats. The geographical origins of dog domestication remain subject of debate among scientists However, a comprehensive review of the existing evidence suggests Eurasia as the most probable birthplace of domesticated dogs, with Central Asia, East Asia, and Western Europe being the most plausible locales. By the conclusion of the last ice age, around 11,700 years ago, five distinct ancestor dog lineages had emerged, with ancient samples found across the globe from the Levant and Lake Baikal to ancient America and the New Guinea singing dog. In 2021, a literary review of then-current evidence posited that the domestication of dogs likely began in Siberia between 26,000 and 19,700 years ago. Ancient North Eurasians are believed to have initiated this process with their domesticated dogs later dispersing eastwards into the Americas and westwards across Eurasia. While dog remains from this era have yet to be unearthed in Siberia, the lack of archaeological exploration in this region could account for this absence. The oldest known dog skeletons dated approximately 33,000 years ago have been discovered in Siberia's Altai Mountains and a Belgian cave. These archaeological findings suggest that the domestication of dogs might have occurred simultaneously in different geographical locations, further underscoring the complex and multifaceted history of our loyal companion, the dog. This is Chestacho.